Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you happy today? Jim, now you're fra Leo. Are you sick? Jenny Wagonjo. Are you poor? Jenny Maskini. Oh, I'm glad now people are getting it now. Yeah, they are getting the real revelation about living in Christ. Alright, let's go to the today's. We continue from, from where we ended up yesterday. Kwa hiyo sasa tutaendelea kutoka pale ambapo tuliishia jana giving is the master key to our prosperity. Eh utoaji ni ufunguo mkuu kwa ajili ya mafanikio yetu. God ordained that to be our way to get our provision. Mungu ameruhusu amebariki hiyo iwe ndio njia yetu ya kuelekea katika mafanikio. I want to go uh, to several scriptures to show you. Nataka niende today. kwenye mistari kadhaa ili kukuonyesha Deuteronomy chapter 28. Kumbukumbu sura ya 28 verse 1 msali wa kwanza and verse 2 na msali wa pili it shall come to pass itakuwa if you diligently obey the voice of the lord your god utakaposikia sauti ya bwana mungu wako kwa bidii being careful to do all his commandments which i command you today kutunza kuyafanya maagizo yale maagizo yake yote ni kiwagizayo leo The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth Ndipo Bwana Mungu wako atakapokutukuza juu ya mataifa yote ya dunia Hallelujah Hallelujah Now when you claim this verse at the end of it na unapodai au kutamka mstari huu mwisho wake and forget about the beginning of it na ukasahau mwanzo wake it shall not work haitaweza kufanya kazi hello hello are you there uko hapo are you there uko hapo i show you scriptures today nitakuonyesha mistari leo Let me repeat again. Hebu nirudie tena. It shall come to pass. Itakuwa. This will be. Kwamba hili litakuwa hivyo. This is the way to do it. Hivi ndivyo namna ya kufanya. If you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. Utakaposikia sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako kwa bidii. This is the voice of the Lord. Hii ndio sauti ya Bwana. The Bible. Biblia. It is his voice. Hii ndio sauti yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He speaks to us through his word. Anasema nasi kupitia neno lake. Anything that the Bible say we should do we must do it. Kila ambacho Biblia inasema kwamba tukifanye ni lazima tukifanye. Now. Sasa. Go to verse 2. Hebu nenda katika msali wa pili. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if <laughs> na baraka hizi zote <laughs> zitakujilia na kukupata Usikiapo. Hello. Hello. Do we still have students here? Je, bado tuna wanafunzi hapa? All this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. 
Na baraka hizi zote zitakujilia na kukupata usikiapo sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako. Now the Bible say tithe. Sasa Biblia imesema tithe. Kutoa zaka. And you don't tithe. Au toi zaka. Are you obeying the word of God? Je, kwa kufanya hivyo ni kutii neno la Mungu? Do we still have students in the house? Je, bado tuna wanafunzi katika nyumba hapa leo? Ask your neighbor, the Lord is asking you. Muambie jirani yako, Bwana anakuuliza through his Bible. Kupitia katika Biblia yake. Are you doing what I told you to do? Je, unafanya yale niliyokuambia ufanye? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a lot in the Bible about contribution for the church projects. Kuna mengi katika Biblia kama vile michango kwa ajili ya ujenzi wa kanisa. And Bible says, do it. Na Biblia inasema, fanyeni hivyo. Are you doing it? Je, mnafanya hivyo? Or you come to church as a spectator. Au mnakuja kanisani kama tu watazamaji. Watching other people doing it. Mkiangalia wengine wakifanya. And then you claim to be blessed. Na mnadai kuwa ninyi mmebarikiwa. I want to assure you. Nataka kuhakikishia. All blessings are set in principles. Baraka zote zimewekwa katika kanuni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are there already but he say they will overtake you. Na zipo tayari pale lakini anasema zitawajilieni. If you obey they will overtake you. Kama mtati zitawajilieni. But you always very happy when you read from verse 1 to 15. Mnakuwa na furaha to 14. Mnakuwa na furaha sana pale mnaposoma kuanzia msala wa kwanza mpaka msala wa 14. Very happy. Mnakuwa na furaha sana. Blessing, blessing in the farm, blessing when I come out, blessing when I go out, when I am in. Yani blessed ba- my farm, blessed my Oh, unasema nimebarikiwa shambani, nimebarikiwa mjini, nimebarikiwa ningi hapo, nimebarikiwa nitoka hapo. What about 15 verse? Je, kuanzia msala wa 15 inakuwaje? When you get there, you always shut up your Bible. Yani you uki- close your Bible. Ukishafika msala wa 15 unafunga Biblia. No, don't close your Bible. Usifunge Biblia yako. Read it there. Soma hapo. Are you still here? Je, bado upo? Listen to this. 15. Sikiliza mstari wa 15. But lakini Mhm. I like here. Hapa <laughs> napenda sasa. <laughs> it shall come to pass. Anasema lakini itakuwa if you do not obey the voice of your Lord Your God. Usipotaka kusikiliza, kusikiza sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako. To observe carefully all his commandments. Usiangalie kufanya maagizo yake yote na amri zake. And his teachers. Na amri zake. Which I command you today. Ni kwa gizazo, ni kwa gizazo hivi leo. All these curses will come upon you and overtake you ndipo zitakapokujilia laana hizi zote na kukupata ask your neighbor in which part are you muulize jirani yako upo kwenye kundi gani <laughs> blessings or curses kwenye laana ama kwenye baraka okay stop asking your neighbor asking yourself now uh, acha kumuuliza jirani yako jiulize mwenyewe sasa because you you know yourself very good kwa sababu wewe unajijua vema mwenyewe you don't give tithe au toe fungu la 10 you don't give good offerings au toe sadaka nzuri you just give leftovers unatoa mabaki mabaki tu masalia sometimes you do sometimes you don't wakati fulani unatoa wakati fulani hautoi in which area are you je upo kwenye eneo gani it is good to shout that we are blessed we are blessed ni vizuri kupaza sauti kuwa tumebarikiwa tumebarikiwa The entire Bible is the word of God Biblia nzima ni neno la Mungu That's what I believe Nicho ndicho ninachokiamini I believe my Bible Naamini Biblia yangu This is God talking to me Huyu ni Mungu akisema nami Now stop claiming blessings if you don't do what the Bible says you should do 
acha kudai baraka kama haufanyi vile ambavyo Biblia inakuambia kufanya. This is the reason why we are here. Ndiyo hiyo ndiyo sababu kwa nini tuko hapa. Bible school. Shule ya Biblia is to teach you ni kuwafundisheen that you can go back to what the bible says you should do ili mrejee kwa kila ambacho biblia inasema mfanye the bible says biblia inasema if you obey kama mtati if you be obedient kama mtakuwa watifu you listen and be obedient mkasikiliza na mkati you shall eat the goodness of the land mtakuwa mem mtakula mema ya inchi you shall eat the goodness of the land mtakula mema ya inchi let me take you back to where we ended up yesterday the point of the, the good and the faithful servants hebu ni warejeshe pale ambapo tuliishia jana kuhusu mtumishi yule mzuri mwaminifu is very very good point yani ni, I want to us to see there. Ni hatua ya muhimu na nzuri sana hapa ambao nataka tuone. We saw yesterday tuliona jana those who invested in the kingdom of God. Wale wanaowekeza katika ufalme wa Mungu. God Jesus spoke the words of praise. Yesu okay. alitamka maneno ya kuwapongeza au kuwasifia. He said akasema Well done good and faithful servant. Akasema umepongezi kwako umefanya vema wewe mtumishi ulie mwaminifu. Well done. Umefanya vema good and a faithful servant. Wewe mtumishi mwema tena ulie mwaminifu. Wow. Wow. This word of praise Haya maneno ya kusifia. Everyone would need to would, would want to hear this kind of word. Kila mmoja angependa kusikia aina hii ya maneno. And then he said, na baadaye akasema, You were faithful in little. Mlikuwa waaminifu au ulikuwa mwaminifu katika kidogo? I will set you for much for men. Sasa nitakupa vili vingi. I will release blessings upon you. Nitaachilia baraka juu yako. I will cause the blessings to keep on overtaking you. Nita nitaamuru au nitasababisha baraka ziendelee kuja juu yako. Wow. Wow. He did not say that you go and retire because you have done your part. Hakusema kwamba nenda ukastaafu kwa sababu umefanya kwa sehemu yako. We don't retire for doing good things for God. Huwa hatustaafu kwa kufanya matendo mema kwa ajili ya Mungu. Because every thing you get it is not for you it is for the kingdom of God. Kwa sababu kila kitu unachokipata si kwa ajili yako bali ni kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu. And whenever you consider the kingdom of God God considers about your life. Na wakati wote utakapojali na kuzingatia ufalme wa Mungu, Mungu atashughulikia, atahudumia maisha yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the word kingdom, in the word kingdom, katika neno ufalume, in this world, katika ulimwengu huu, they retire. Huwa watu wana staafu. And when they retire, na wanapostaafu, they suffer wanateseka some dies before they enjoy their pension their pensions wengi huwa wanakufa kabla ya kupata pensheni zao but in the kingdom of god lakini katika ufalme wa mungu there is no retirement hakuna kustaafu you will be loaded with blessings yani utajazwa kwa baraka tele oh my god oh mungu wangu you will be loaded with with many responsibilities yani utapewa majukumu mengi tu and you will be given ability to run those responsibilities na utapewa uwezo ili kuweza kushughulikia majukumu hayo another word that jesus said neno lingine ambalo yesu alisema he said alisema enter 
into A my joy. Akasema ingia katika raha yangu. Oh my God. This Hallelujah. is all about the kingdom of God. Haya, joy. Yote haya ni kuhusu falme wa Mungu. Wa Mungu. Yaani ni furaha. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Kwamba furaha ya Bwana ndiye nguvu yangu. Paul said he rejoice in the Lord and, I, and again I say rejoice. Paulo anasema furahini katika Bwana tena nasema furahini. No crying, no staying like we like, like orphans in the in the kingdom of God ha, we will be happy hakuna kulia wala kukaa kama yatima katika ufalme wa Mungu what a joyous life we will, will have when you, uh, you you faithfully serve the Lord what a joyful life you will live yani utaishi maisha ya furaha yaliyoje pale utakapomtumikia Bwana you will be under the coverage of our master utakuwa chini ya ile wingu ile wingu eh, la mkuu the shepherd and i tell you you will never you will not want anything yule mchungaji wetu na nakueleza kuwa hautapungukiwa na kitu chochote oh hallelujah oh hallelujah whenever god gives you anything wakati wote mungu akupapo kitu chochote be it chicken be it a car be it a goat be it a cow iwe ngombe iwe kondoo iwe mbuzi iwe kuku it is for the kingdom of god kipo kwa ajili ya anatoa kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu. And when you do that, na ukifanya hivyo, God does his part. Yeye Mungu ufanya kwa sehemu yake. The office of Jehovah Jireh works. O, yani ofisi ya Yehova Yire basi inaanza kufanya kazi. The office of Jehovah El Shaddai works. Ile ofisi ya Yehova El Shaddai inaanza kufanya kazi. Provision yani mahitaji taking you from little from insufficiency into the abundant life yani ina ina ile 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 ro ile hali ile hali ya mahitaji na kutoa kwenye hali ya kuwa nacho kidogo kwenda kwenye utere i want to show you here nataka nikuonyeshe hapa the reward now malipo au zawadi for that one talent man malipo kwa ajili ya yule mtu mmoja mwenye talanta The one talent servant yule mtumishi mmoja mwenye talanta addresses the master in an apologetic defensive tune. Yaani huyu huyu mwenye talanta moja anamuendea mwalimu wake au mkuu wake kwa namna ya kuomba msamaha yani kwa lugha ile kama ya kuomba msamaha hivi. Making it clear that he understand his failure kwamba akiweka wazi kana kwamba yule mkuu wake au yeye mwenyewe anajua kushindwa kwake and he hopes that jesus will also understand na akawa anatarajia ya kwamba hata yesu ataelewa ule udhaifu wake you know many people say even jesus knows he knows Unajua watu wengi wanasema Yesu anajua jamani god knows i have nothing god knows anajua mungu kwa sina kitu He knows you have nothing and you bought a shoes last last week. Ana unasema anajua kwamba wewe hauna wakati wiki iliyopita ulinunua viatu. You don't have. He knows you don't have and you contributed in the wedding. Ya anajua unamwambia kwamba wewe Mungu unajua sina wakati ulichangia kwenye harusi. You gave everything for the funeral. Ulitoa vyote kwa ajili ya msiba. And you come in a church empty handed and you say God knows. Na unakuja kanisani mikono mitupu kisha unasema Mungu anajua. Remember Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Kumbuka kumbukumbu la Torati sura 28 na msala wa 15. It is always at work. Siku zote ipo kazini. Hello? Hello? Do we still have students in the house? Je bado tuna wanafunzi katika nyumba? Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen the voice of that one talent man. Hebu sikiliza sauti ya yule mtu mmoja mwenye talanta. I knew you are a hard man. Oh najua wewe ni mfanya mtu mgumu. I knew you are a harsh man. Wewe ni mtu mkali. Ripping where you didn't sow. Unayepanda mahali ambapo hujavuna. What a demonic word. Ya maneno ya kishetani ya namna gani haya? You, want, you mean our master Jesus is a harsh man? Una maana kwamba mkuu wetu Yesu Kristo ni mtu mkali? He died for us. 
Alikufa kwa ajili yetu. He gave it all so that we can be blessed. Alitoa vyote ili sisi tupwe tumebarikiwa. By his stripes we are healed. Kwa kupigwa kwake tumeponywa. And you say he is a harsh man. Na unasema yeye ni mkali. Many people many Christians they, they say in a church. Wakristo wengi huwa wanasema hivyo makanisa. You know this church is all about giving giving. Oh kanisa hili bwana inaongelea tu kutoa kutoa. Whenever you come in this church the main topic here is giving giving. Unapokuwa unapokuja kwenye kanisa hili bwana somo kuu ni kutoa ni kutoa. These are the Freemasons. Hawa ni mafreemason. They like money more than me. Wanapenda hela kuliko mimi. We are not Freemasons. We don't know them and we will never be them. We are the children of God. Sisi sio Freemasons wala hatutakuwa moja wao wala tuhitaji kuwajua. Sisi ni watoto wa Mungu. We are told to teach you what the Bible say you should do. Sisi tumeambiwa tuwafundisheni kile ambacho Biblia inasema muwe mnafanya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day I I saw a, a post on Facebook. Wakati fulani niliona mtu mmoja ameweka tangazo fulani kwenye Facebook kwenye mtandao. What things you don't like in a church? Vitu ambavyo hampendi uwepo au vitokee kanisani. And many people commented. Na wengi tu waliandika mawazo yao. Some said we don't want giving tithe. Wengine walisema hatutaki kutoa fungu la kumi. We don't want the way they force us to give. Hatuhitaji vile wanavyotulazimisha kutoa. We know sometimes pastor forces us to give as if we, he gave us the money. Yaani wakati fulani mchungaji anatulazimisha kutoa kana kwamba yeye ametupa pesa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Mungu ni mwema. Whenever he teaches you, he knows what good will come to you wakati wote anapokufundisha anajua ni kitu gani chema kitakuja kwako the master is not harsh huyu mkuu sio mkali neither he is not a hard man wala sio mgumu he give them, he gave them the money he the one who gave them the capitals yeye ndiye aliyowapa pesa aliyowapa mitaji why is this one talent man calling our master harsh hard and hard man kwa nini huyu mtu mwenye talanta moja anamuita mkuu wetu kuwa mkali lakini pia kumuita mwenye, mwenye moyo mgumu? Listen to what this one talent man said. Hebu sikiliza kwa kile ambacho huyu mwenye talanta moja alisema. So when I, I knew that you are a harsh man and a hard man, akasema nilivyojua ya kuwa wewe ni mkali lakini mwenye moyo mgumu, I was afraid. Niliogopa. That is the source of his failures. Na ha, hapo ndio ndipo palipo na chanzo cha kushindwa kwake. The spirit of unbelief. Roho ya kutokuamini. Beware of that spirit. Uwe mwangalifu juu ya roho hiyo. And he said, akasema, I was afraid and I went away and hide your ni, talent. Niliogopa hivyo nikaondoka kwenda kuficha ile talanta. Behold, you have your one talent. Here it is. Tazama u, I talanta yako moja nimeleta hapa. I like the way the master responded. Ninapenda namna mkuu alivyojibu. You wicked and slothful servant. Akasema wewe mtumishi muovu tena ulie mbaya. Why didn't, didn't you de- deposit my money? Kwa nini haukuwekeza ukaweka ukatunza hela yangu with the bankers so i should receive back my own with interest Kwa nini ukuwekeza kwenye mabanki ili niweze kuichukua hela ikiwa na faida juu yake You wicked man Wewe ni mtu mbaya sana You wicked servant Wewe ni mtumishi muovu mbaya sana Do you want to be told that Je ungependa uje uambiwe hivyo Because the, the two were told Well done, good and faithful servant. Kwa sababu wawili waliambiwa, "Oh, mmefanya kazi njema, watumishi mlioaminifu." And this one was told, "You wicked man." Na huyu akaambia, "Wewe mtumishi muovu." The rebuke is not ended up there. Yaani ukemeo hauishi hapo. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, Jesus said to the people Yesu alisema kwa wale watu Take the talent from him 
take the talent kwamba chukueni ile taranta niliyompa muondoe give it to the one who has ten talents hebu chukueni hii moja muumpe yule mwenye taranta kumi. this is this is how our master can do hapa sasa ndipo palipo na mwalimu wetu he is a, he is a professor he knows everything even calculations huyu mkuu wetu ni professor ni msomi anajua hata mahesabu na anajua vitu vyote you take one talent from the one who is having one talent kuchukua talanta moja kwa yule mwenye nayo talanta moja and to give to the one who has 10 talents na kumpa yule mwenye kumi, mwenye talanta kumi. and jesus continued and said for the one who has will be given more na yesu akaendelea kusema kuwa yule ambaye anacho ataendelea kuongezewa and he will have an abundance na atakuwa navyo tele he will have more than enough atakuwa navyo vya kutosha come to food he will have more than enough ikija swala chakula atakuwa nacho cha kutosha come to clothes he will have more than enough ukija kwenye mavazi atakuwa navyo vya kutosha come to cars he will have more than enough ikija kwenye magari atakuwa nazo za kutosha hallelujah Hallelujah. It means I will take him into the abundance life. Manake nitampeleka kwenye maisha ya utele. The provision of our master is taking us from insufficiency into abundant life. Yaani riziki kutoka kwa mkuu wetu zinakutoka zinakutoa kwenye utoshelevu kwenda kwenye utele. If you dug holes and put all God's money you gonna die poor. Na kama utachukua hela zote hizo za Mungu kazichukua utaenda kufa maskini. There's no hand of a bishop or a apostle or a pastor or an evangelist can remove that curse. Na hakuna mkono wala maombi ya mtume wala nabii wala mwinjilisi yatakayoondoa laana hiyo. What we remove is to start doing what the bible says. Na ili liondolewe ni pale tu tutakapoanza kufanya Biblia inavyosema ufanye. Somebody say amen. Hebu mmoja aseme amina. Somebody shout an amen. Mmoja apiga kelele ya amina. Now listen Jesus said. Sasa sikiliza Yesu alisema. But the one Remember we are in the book of Matthew chapter 25 Kumbuka, where, we, where we, we started yesterday Kumbuka tunaongelea eh, kitabu cha Mathayo 25 ambapo tulikuepo jana Now when you go to verse 29 Sasa ukienda msali wa 29 is where he says Hapo ndipo anasema For the one who has will be, more will be given to him Yaani yule ambaye anavyo atapewa zaidi and he will have an abundance na atakuwa navyo tele but the one who does not have lakini yule asiye nacho even what he has will be taken away hata kile kidogo alicho nacho kitaondolewa kwake verse 30 mstari wa 30 throw that worthless slave yani kupitia yule mtumishi muovu mzimzimvivu throw him wanasema yule mtumishi mvivu mzembe mtupeni throw him this worthless slave huyu mtumishi ambaye hana faida mtoeni man he gave them as servants aliwapa kama watumishi but now he is called a slave lakini sasa anaitwa mtumwa under the yoke of the devil chini ya kile kifungo cha shetani when you listen to the devil you will be under him yani unapomsikiliza shetani utakuwa chini yake when you listen to god you will be the child and the, the child of god and the servant of god unapomsikiliza mungu unakuwa mwanawe lakini pia unakuwa ni mtumishi wa mungu throw him into the outer darkness Ebu mumtupe nje kwenye giza where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth ambako kutakuwa na kuomboleza lakini kusaga meno I want to ask you Nataka niwaulize What kind of life are you living on earth? Je unaishi maisha ya namna gani hapa ulimwenguni? The life of crying maisha ya kulia the life of cry maisha ya kulia and gnashing teeth are you are not your life 
je maisha haya ya kusaga meno sio maisha yako watch out hebu we mwangalifu hapo maybe you are not doing what the bible tells you that you should do pengine haufanyi vile biblia inavyokueleza ufanye hallelujah hallelujah everyone who has has kila moja aliye nacho in the kingdom of god katika ufalme wa Mungu will have an abundance life atakuwa na maisha ya utele now i want to to explain a little bit here sasa ningependa nielezee kidogo hapa whoever does whoever does not have they are in the kingdom of self yani yeyote yule ambaye hana yuko kwenye ufalume wa yeye mwenyewe now listen to this one here hebu sikiliza hili hapa who has yeye mwenye nacho what does this mean je hii ina maana gani this is not the money but what the money has done into the kingdom hii haiongelei kwamba ana hela bali naongelea kwamba hela alionayo imefanya nini katika ufalume because god gave them the talents that the money kwa sababu mungu aliwapa taranta hiyo ndiyo pesa and he wanted that money to do something for the kingdom na alitaji ile pesa ifanye kitu kwa ajili ya ufalume and what is done in the kingdom is what now you have na kile kilichofanyika katika ufalume ndicho sasa ulicho nacho wewe you, you didn't have it you, you only had money haukuwa nacho bali ulikuwa na pesa peke yake and when you did something for the business for the kingdom na ukifanya kitu kwa ajili ya ufalume you invested unakuwa umewekeza you did business kingdom umefanya shughuli au biashara ya kifalume so the bible says sasa biblia inasema you gave me five ulinipa tano Here I have another five. Hapa sasa nimepata tano zaidi. You gave me two. Ulinipa mbili. I have another two. Nimepata mbili zaidi. And you gave me one. Ulinipa moja. I don't have. Sina. Hello. Hello. Do you understand? Mnaelewa hapo? The Bible says. Biblia inasema. When God gives you money or something. Mungu akikupatia pesa au kitu chochote. And you don't invest in the kingdom. Na hauwekezi katika ufalume. It means you don't have. Maana yake hauna kitu. In the kingdom you don't have. Maana yake katika ufalume hauna kitu. Who has it means you have something done in the kingdom. Mwenye nacho ni yule ambaye amefanya kitu katika ufalume. Do you understand? Mnaelewa? So if you haven't done anything in the kingdom, kwa kama hujafanya chochote katika ufalume, even that one that you were given, hata kile ulichokuwa umepewa you will be taken away kita ondo kitachukuliwa kutoka kwako hallelujah 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 so when you are given some money kwa hiyo unapokuwa umepewa pesa or anything ama kitu chochote make sure you produce in the kingdom hakikisha unazalisha katika ufalume hallelujah hallelujah if you don't do that kama haufanyi hivyo even what you are given hata kile ulichokuwa umepewa will be taken away kitachukuliwa kutoka kwako that's what jesus meant hicho ndicho yesu alichomaanisha hallelujah hallelujah so you get capital from jesus kwa hiyo unapata msingi kutoka kwa yesu you invest in the kingdom unawekeza katika ufalume and you profit na unazalisha faida now there's something done into the kingdom sasa hapo kuna kitu kinakuwa kimefanyika katika ufalme remember talent is not yours kumbuka kwa taranta si mali yako what it is yours there it is the profit you profited kilicho cha kwako hapo ni ile faida uliyozalisha and the profit is what you did for the kingdom hiyo faida ndiyo kitu ulichofanya kwa ajili ya ufalme now if no profit kama hakuna faida then even the talent hata hiyo taranta will be taken away from you itachukuliwa kutoka kwako and you go to the one and that talent will go to the one who did something na hiyo taranta itaenda kwa yule ambaye amefanya jambo that the reason why in the church hiyo ndiyo sababu kwa nini katika kanisa some people grow poor wengi wanaendelea kuwa maskini and some people grow rich na wengine wanakuwa kuwa matajiri hallelujah hallelujah you don't be in a church and be poor uwezi hautakiwi kuwa kanisani na ukabaki kuwa maskini go 
God's provision always takes you from the insufficiency life to the abundant life. Yaani riziki ya Mungu siku zote inakutoa kwenye hali ya kuwa nacho kidogo kwenda kwenye umaisha ya utere. Hallelujah somebody. Hallelujah mtu mmoja. I want to hear your voice. Nataka nisikie sauti yako huko. I will still have the students in the house. Bado tuna wanafunzi katika nyumba. Whenever God gives you something, wakati wote Mungu akupapo kitu, He wants good for you. Anahitaji an, anakuwa amekusudia mema kwa ajili yako. It's not like the devil. Sio kama ibilisi shetani. Whenever devil gives you something, wakati wote shetani anapokupa kitu, He want to kill you. Anahitaji kukuua. When he give you shoes, akikupa viatu, He want to cut your leg. Anataka kukata mguu wako. The devil has no good gift. Ha, shetani hanaga zawadi nzuri. Oh good gift comes from above from our father. Hallelujah. Zawadi nzuri njema zinatoka juu kwa baba yetu. And remember whenever he gives you anything it is not for you it is for the kingdom of God. Kumbuka siku zote akupapo kitu si kwa ajili yako bali ni kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu. And when you invest for the kingdom and God will bring blessings more and more and more. Na unapowekeza katika ufalme wake, katika ufalme wa Mungu, Mungu analeta baraka juu yako they kwa wingi kwa wingi. Zitakujilia, zitakujilia. Baraka zitakujilia. Zitakujilia. Because we are given kwa sababu tulipewa and you produce in the kingdom. Ukazalisha katika ule ufalme. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to show you in in a book of exodus nataka nikuoneshe katika kitabu cha kutoka verse 12 eh, chapter 12 sura ya 12 kutoka verse 35 to 36 mstari wa 35 hadi 36 remember it is the work of believers to support the work of the local church Ukumbuke kwamba ka, kazi ya kusaidia eh, kanisa la mahali pamoja ni uweza uko ndani ya waumini. Whenever God gives you anything it is for the kingdom. Wakati wote Mungu anapokupa kitu anakupa kwa ajili ya ufalme. And whenever you do for the kingdom God does for you. Kumbuka kwamba wakati wote utakapofanya jambo kwa ajili ya ufalme basi Mungu atafanya kwa ajili yako. Now in Exodus sasa katika kutoka. Yuri you will read Mtasoma. Mtasoma. God told them uh, Mungu aliwaambia not to come out of Egypt empty wasije wakatoka kule Misri wakiwa mikono mitupu. He told them go into these Egyptians take gold, take silver, take bronzes. Akasema nendeni kwa hawa wa Misri mkachukue fedha, mkachukue dhahabu, mkachukue hayo madini. Just read there. Msome hapo. And the God made it possible. Na Mungu akawezesha ifanyike hivyo. For them to get gold, silver and many other things. Na wao ili wapate kuchukua dhahabu, fedha na vitu vingine vingi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not by your effort to get whatever you have. Si kwa jitihada zako kupata kile ulichonacho. It is for God's kingdom. Ni kwa ajili ya ufalume wa Mungu. Now when they got gold, sasa walipopata dhahabu. Exodus chapter 25. Sasa kutoka sura ya 25. You read that verse 3. Utasoma mstari wa tatu hapo. Now God told them Mungu akawaambia Moses Musa tell my people waambie watu wanangu to bring gold walete dhahabu silver na fedha and bronze na hizo madini mengine we want to build the church here tunahitaji kujenga kanisa hapa remember it's god who caused them to get gold Kumbuka kwa ni Mungu aliyewafanya kuwawezesha wapate dhahabu and now he want the gold for the kingdom. Na sasa anataka dhahabu hiyo hiyo kwa ajili ya ufalme. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever God gives you money or something. Po wakati wote Mungu akikupa pesa au kitu chochote. It is not for you it is for the kingdom of God. Si kwa ajili yako bali ni kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. I want to show you another scripture in Exodus chapter 32. Sasa ni kuonesha mstari mwingine kutoka 32 and verse 2 na mstari wa pili when you read there ukisoma hapo 
those who did it give the gold wala ambao hawakutoa zile dhahabu because god said kwa sababu so mungu alisema the one who is willing yule mwenye kuhitaji god will never force you mungu hata kulazimisha god will never force you mungu hata kulazimisha he want you he want you to use your will mungu anahitaji utumie utashi wako we are created with the free will uliumbwa kuwa na utashi wako if you don't want to stay there kama hauhitaji kaa hapo hapo but those who want let us serve the lord lakini wale wanaohitaji hebu tumtumikieni bwana haleluya Nance the work of God in a local church where Ebu you are. tufadhili kazi ya Mungu katika kanisa la mahali pamoja ulipo. It is not it is not in vain. Sio bure. Hallelujah sana. Hallelujah mtu mmoja. Now Exodus chapter 32. Sasa hiyo kutoka 32. They had gold walikuwa na dhahabu and they offered gold na wakatoa ile dhahabu so that they can make a god a, a, a god to worship ili waweze kutengeneza sanamu mungu wa kumwabudu are you with me Muko, tuko pamoja if you don't give it you will worship it kama hautatoa hicho kitu basi utakiabudu i have to repeat again nirudie hapo if you don't give it you will worship it kama hautatoa hicho licho nacho basi utakiabudu instead of giving the gold for building the church badala ya kutoa dhahabu ili wajenge kanisa they gave to make god wao wakatoa ili watengeneze wa, wa, wa mungu sanamu oh my god tell your neighbor oh mungu wangu mwambie jirani if yako you don't give it you will worship it mwambie kama hautatoa hicho licho nacho utakiabudu are you with me Ebu uko pamoja nami? Are we together here? Tuko pamoja jamani. Somebody shout. Moja piga kelele. Whenever the money was given. Wakati wote pesa ilipotolewa. In Jesus time. Ka ukipindi kile cha Yesu. Jesus was so happy. Yesu alifurahia sana. Jesus rejoiced. Yesu alikuwa na furaha sana. The book of Luke kitabu cha Luka chapter 19. Sura ya 19. Verse 5. Msali wa 5. You read up to 9. Unaenda mpaka msali wa 9. We see Jesus telling Zacchaeus. Unamuona Yesu anamwambia Zakayo. Come I want to go into your house. Njo nataka kuingia nyumbani kwako. Zacchaeus came down. Zakayo akashuka. And when he went, na walipoenda, Jesus never said anything about the the the, the heaven. Yesu about the kingdom about salvation. Yesu akuongelea chochote kuhusu wokovu wala ufalme wa mbinguni. Now verse 8 Msali wa 8 Zacchaeus stood Zakayo akasimama and said Akasema I'm gonna give half of my money Akasema nitatoa nusu ya pesa zangu for the kingdom kwa ajili ya ufalme And Jesus said Yesu akasema What Nini Now Sasa From today upward Kuanzia leo na kuendelea Salvation has come in this house Wokovu umeingia katika nyumba hii Hallelujah Hallelujah If you don't give kama hautoi are you really born again je umeokoka kweli or you are just imitating ama unaigirizia tu may god help you to be the kingdom supporter yani mungu akusaidie kuwa eh, unayesaidia ufalme think about the book of uh, mark chapter 14 fikiria kitabu kile cha mako 14 and verse 9 na msali wa 9 When you read these verses Ukisoma mistari hii you will see the woman who break the alabaster box Utaona mwanamke ambaye alivunja kichupa cha marehemu mafuta she, she offered her expensive perfume Alitoa manukato yake ya gharama And Jesus said in verse 9. Na Yesu akasema katika msali ule wa 9. Wherever this gospel shall be preached. Popote ambapo injili hii itahubiriwa. Let the story of this woman be told. Eche acha historia ya mwanamke huyu isemwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is happy when you 
give for the kingdom. Yesu anakuwa na furaha unapotoa kwa ajili ya ufalume. And the blessings become real. They come out from in out. Baraka zinakuwa dhahiri na zinatoka kutoka kwa ndani kuja kwa nje. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to understand this thing. Unapaswa kuelewa mambo haya. Lastly I want to give you the last verse. Mwisho nataka nikupatie mstari wa mwisho. In a look katika kitabu cha Luka. This one let's go. Hapa tuende sasa. This one is very important. Hii ni muhimu sana. I close with this verse. Nitahitimisha kwa mstari huu. Luka chapter 12. Luka 12. Oh my god, this one is very important. Oh Mungu wangu hii ni muhimu sana. We must serve the kingdom. Lazima tutumike katika ufalume. What is in the kingdom? Je, kile na kile kilichomo ndani ya ufalume? Is what we have. Ndicho tulicho nacho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 12, mstari wa 12, 12 12. No no no, chapter 12 verse 16. Sura ya 12 na mstari wa 16 Luka Are you there? Uko hapo? I want you to be there. Nataka uwe, uh, uwe hapo. And he told them a parable saying. Na aliwaambia mfano akisema And he told them a parable saying. Na akawaambia mithala akisema. The land of rich man was very produce productive. Shamba la mtu mmoja tajiri lilikuwa limezaa sana. And he began reasoning to himself. Na akaanza kuwaza moyoni mwake. Saying, akisema, what shall I do since I have no place to store my, my crops? Nifanyeje maana sina pa kuyaweka akiba mavuno yangu. Then he said, akasema, This is what I will do. Nitafanya hivi. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. Nitazivunja gara zangu nijenge nyingine kubwa zaidi. Instead of saying I will take it to the kingdom of God, badala ya kusema kwamba nitapeleka katika ufalme wa Mungu I will invest for the kingdom of God kwamba nitawekeza katika ufalme wa Mungu He's talking about doing things for himself anaongelea vitu kwamba atajifanyia yeye mwenyewe and there I will store all my my grain and my goods na humo nitaweka nafaka yangu yote na vitu vyangu and I will say to my soul Kisha nitajiambia e nafsi yangu You have many goods laid up for many years to come Una vitu vyema vie, vingi vilivyojiwekea akiba kwa miaka mingi Take your is eat drink and be merry Pumzika basi ule unywe ufurahi Verse 20. Wa I like this verse. Napenda mstari huu. But God said to him. Lakini Mungu akamwambia. You foolish man. Mpumbavu wewe. You foolish man. Mpumbavu wewe. Is it in your Bible? Jamani, haipo kwenye Biblia yenu mo? Stop looking me so funny. Msiniangalie hivi kwa kushekesha namna hiyo. Is it there? Imo humo kwenye Biblia yenu. You foolish man. Wewe mpumbavu. <laughs> hey, hey. Man, if you don't invest in the kingdom of God, kama uwekezi katika ufalme wa Mungu, you are nothing but a foolish. Wewe si lolote bali mpumbavu. It is written here. Imeandikwa hapa. It is written here. Imeandikwa hapa. And he said, na akasema, this very night, usiku huu huu wa leo, your soul is required of you. Wanataka roho yako. And now who will own what you have prepared? Na vitu ulivyojiwekea tayari vitakuwa vya nani? Let us support the work of God. Hebu tufadhiliini jamani kazi ya Mungu. Let us stand with the work of God. Hebu tusimame na kazi ya Mungu. And God will stand with us. Na Mungu atasimama pamoja nasi. May this good God bless you so much. Mungu huyu aliyemwema awabarikini sana. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen.